Okay, in this video we're going to look at the uh, website that we're going to build using Bootstrap. So this is the website, it's previewed in Safari, uh, and what you can see is that we've got a navigation bar that runs across the top. We've got five buttons on that navigation menu, and these buttons have these little icons next to them, which are known as glyph icons in Bootstrap. Below that we have a static image, which is uh, the banner. Uh, and as we scroll down the page, we'll notice that the navigation menu stays fixed to the top of the browser window. So it's always going to remain in view of the user. Below our banner, we've then got some heading text and some paragraph text. We've then got an embedded YouTube video. Uh, we, below that, we've got a horizontal rule, and that's just to break up the, uh, the vertical spacing that we've got here between content. This area here is known as a carousel and bootstrap, but basically it's a sliding image gallery and users can click through and view different images or it will auto play as well. Below our carousel, we then have four columns of information, which is made up of a heading, an image, some paragraph text, and then a button that users can click to go off and find more information about this section of the page. We then have below that an embedded Google map uh, with an address next to it, an email and telephone number. And then finally, we have a footer area down the bottom, which is colored to match our navigation menu at the top. And the footer area is split up into four sections as well, four columns if you like as well. Okay, so the whole point of building a bootstrap website is that it's responsive. And that means that the website's content will resize and reposition itself depending on what screen size is being used to view the website. So these days, people view websites on desktops, on tablets, and on their mobile phones. And we want to build a website that will respond to all of those different screen sizes. In other words, we want to build websites that will look good at each of those different screen sizes. And that's what Bootstrap allows you to do. So this view that we're seeing at the moment, and the way that this web page is currently laid out, is the desktop view. So this is what we call a sort of a medium sized desktop, which is roughly around about 960 pixels wide. Now, if we resize the browser window, what you'll notice is that content starts to move and resize itself automatically. So now we're down to a tablet view. So this would be like an iPad, for example. And what you'll notice is that the banner has resized itself automatically. And that's the key advantage of using Bootstrap is that content on the page is responsive. So images will automatically resize, um, videos will automatically resize, and things will reposition themselves as well to display correctly at that screen size. What we can see here is that these four sections here were previously on the desktop next to each other. Okay, so we had four columns alongside each other. We've now got two and two, so they're stacking, and they've grown much bigger because there's more space for them to be displayed. If we just drag that back up to the desktop, you'll see how it changes. So layout changes, but also content can resize itself. So this is the layout for the desktop. You'll see that we have the map and now the address and the email appear underneath the map rather than in desktop view where it appears alongside it. If we keep shrinking our screen size down to a mobile phone size, you'll notice that our navigation menu changes altogether. So our navigation menu becomes this button, you click on it and you get a drop down navigation menu. Remember, this is going to be like a touch screen device now. So here people are going to tap that block up at the top there to reveal the navigation menu, then they can tap the buttons to go to the different pages. What's happened here is the banner has disappeared altogether. And this is another key feature of using Bootstrap for responsive web design is that you may want to hide elements of your page at different screen sizes. So what I'm saying here is that on a mobile device, my banner is not going to look very good because it's it's got a lot of information in it. And when it gets to this screen size, it's going to be so small that people aren't going to be able to see it. So there's no point in displaying it. So I've told Bootstrap to hide my banner when we get down to the mobile screen size. Uh, just to show you that, when you go to the tablet size, there's the banner. When we go down to the mobile phone size, it's told to hide. We then have our video. We still got our carousel going. This time, these four sections here are now stacked one on top of each other, and their content is also being centered. So not only can you tell things to hide, but you can also change how things are going to be laid out at different screen sizes. So when we go back to our tablet size, you'll see that's all left aligned, this content.
but when we get down to our mobile phone size, it all becomes center aligned. And I just think it looks better on a mobile device, otherwise it's all sat over here on the left-hand side of the screen. We still have our Google map, we still have our address, telephone number and that on the bottom. And here in the footer, I've told the first column to hide itself. Again, because when we get down to a mobile phone size, I don't think that information needs to be displayed. It will look too cluttered down the bottom here. So I've said, when we get down to a mobile phone size, compared to a tablet, let's keep going until we get to the tablet size, this is to disappear and hide itself. And when we go back down to mobile phone, you'll see it hides itself. So when we get down to our mobile phone size, we've got content being hidden. And this is the great thing about a responsive website. You build one website for all screen sizes, and that'd be desktop, tablet, and mobile. And with Bootstrap, you can change the layout of content. So at tablet, we've got them sitting like this, two and two. When we go down to mobile, they're stacking up one on top of the of each other. When we go to desktop, they're sitting four by four side next to each other. So you can control the layout and the position of content on your page for different screen sizes and also content such as images, maps, videos, banners, galleries will automatically resize themselves depending on what screen size they're being displayed at. In addition to that, you can hide and reveal content at different screen sizes, like you can hide the banner if you want it at the mobile screen size if you don't want it to be displayed. And these are all the advantages of using a responsive website uh, to make sure that you have content that will display correctly and look nice at different screen resolutions.